Hello and welcome to the Daily Dose of Daryl. Are you still looking for uh, the magic cure in your life? Well, these days with the virus, everybody's looking for some kind of cure. Laughter is the best medicine. Let these funny faces help you find it. It seems that everybody's looking for a magic pill, maybe a magic cure for the coronavirus. I've always said laughter is the best medicine in life. When I was younger, I would say things like, I feel your pain. However, now that I'm much older, I have enough pains of my own that I don't need to feel yours. At any rate, there is a medicine for everything nowadays. Just turn on the television. There are so many commercials advertising cures for parts of my body that I didn't even know I had, much less that they could go wrong. At one time, the commercials did not bother me because they were short, maybe 15 to 30 seconds. But now, after telling me to take their elixir for the sniffles or whatever, they spend the next minute and a half telling me that if I notice any loss of hearing, diminished visions, severe stomach pain, nausea, stiff joints, inflamed rashes, scaly skin, moodiness, thoughts of suicide, tremors, or sudden death, that I need to stop taking it and notify my doctor. Not only do I now have the added stress of such a long line of side effects, but I have to buy a tag that says, if you find me dead, please let my doctor know that the sniffle medicine didn't work well and I am discontinuing use. Well, with all this in mind, I must agree that laughter is the best medicine. Therefore, here's my disclaimer. If you hurt yourself laughing at this little segment, I am not responsible for injuries due to laughing. Remember that Proverbs 17:22 reads, A merry heart doeth good like a medicine. There have even been scientific studies that indicate laughter is a healing force and can be therapeutic. Humor engages people and opens up people's hearts. Too often Christians, I believe, and that they think that fun and faith are like oil and water. They, they simply don't mix. They are sometimes called stuff shirts. Jesus knew better. Jesus gave his disciple nicknames like Peter the Rock, who talked big but was a coward, acting more like sand when it mattered. James and John, hotheads, were sons of thunder. He mentioned people who gave stones in place of bread and saw the speck in the eye of another, but ignored the log in their own eye. He talked about the blind leading the blind. Rabbi Shumale Botich wrote, Humor allows us to approach th threatening subjects in a non-threatening way. Just putting a big smile on your face when meeting someone will change their response. A smile will go a mile. Try it. Go through half your day with a long face and note the reactions. Then go through the rest of your day with a big smile and see what happens. You will find people open up more quickly and generally smile back, talk more, are more willing to help you, and in general, are more at ease, add a touch of humor, and they most often will want you to be their friend. Think about it. Do you prefer to be around people with long faces who are miserable, or do you like being around people who are happy, funny, who seem to feel okay about themselves? If you're honest with yourself, you will find that you actually feel better when you're around positive, fun-loving people. Now, Throw in a little whistling a happy song while you work, and you've got a great combination. It is difficult to feel bad and have a bad day when you put a smile on your face, look for the humor in every situation, and whistle while you work. At first, you will feel like it's forced because you are new to it. The more you practice that discipline, the more it will feel natural and more normal to you. Everyone's looking for the magic pill that will cure them and make them feel better. But alas, laughter is the best medicine. It works really well when you chase it with a big smile, a little whistling, 
and a solid foundation of knowing that God is in control of your life. But here are the possible side effects. My disclaimer. People may start warming up to you and want to be around you. Others may become really friendly. Still others may want you to, to help you in any way possible. Some folks may start spreading rumors about how nice you are to others. You may find yourself enjoying days and your experiences. You may find it more difficult to locate the stress in your life. Stressful situations may seem softer and shorter. Remember, get used to seeing a lot of teeth. People will smile back. My goal in life is to make two people smile every day. Well, a lady who checked me in at an office last week began laughing so much that I had to take a week off. <laughs> it blew my quota. She said, you should be a stand-up comic. I said, I tried it, but I was so lazy. I kept sitting down. They fired me. Eventually, you will even see the humor in negative situations. The guy seated next to you who is upset about a 40-minute delay on the flight from New York to Los Angeles now becomes funny. You're thinking, hey, this trip used to take 50 people two years and only 20 of them made it, and you think you have problems? Then when he starts spouting off about a little turbulence, you almost burst out laughing when you think, here you are in a recliner more comfortable than the one at home, watching a movie on a screen three times larger than the one at home, going 600 miles an hour, seven miles above the surface of the earth, near the edge of all sustainable oxygen, and you're upset because there was a little bump? <laughs> the old WWJD, what would Jesus do, question certainly must be answered, at least in part by he would laugh god has a sense of humor cultivate yours and share it with others i believe that if you are a christian and truly trust god you have more reason to lighten up and laugh at life than most anyone else don't worry about the side effects you will learn to enjoy them now go and take your mess medicine <laughs> or for that matter you can take your medicine too. <laughs> or medicine. Hello, well. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, share, come again. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.